the main issue I think with people coming into the country is the people who have no ID, even though they had it when the plane landed on the tarmac in whatever airport in Ireland. Uh, 40% of the people looking for asylum in this country had no ID when they went to border control, as they call it. Uh, now, when these people arrive at border patrol, they can't be put back on the plane because they've no documents, they've no ID. The, the planes just can't legally take them to another country. So they have to stay here. And each one of those costs 50 grand. Like, whether legal or illegal, until they go through the proper process of seeing are they eligible for asylum or international protection in Ireland. They still have to be looked after, they have to be given shelter, meals, and they also have to have access to medical, etc. So, when you have people knowing that they are not eligible, that's why they get rid of the documents. Uh, they're ruining it for genuine refugees. They're ruining it for genuine, you know, asylum seekers. You know, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm just saying, like, each one of these lads, and they're usually lads, uh, men. They're usually uh, fighting age. Uh, they're costing us a fortune, and that money could go elsewhere. So, I think a new law should be brought in with the. A new new methods should be brought in in conjunction with airlines, but one of them would be from a government point of view that when a plane lands in Dublin airport, that our officials be right there when that plane door opens to make sure that there's no way they can get rid of any identification. Or the other way would be that because most airlines now are uh, booking online and you have to show them proof of your passport etc and they have copies of it that the state can get access to that so even if they do throw their documents down the toilet in the airport that the state can just hit a button and the passport picture comes up of the individual therefore the state knows what country that person's from and normally the people that ditch their ID are not from war zones, etc.